Detroit Pistons aren't a very good team, right? They're very young. They have a lot of great young talent. And in the future, they may be a very solid team. Uh, they are one of the teams tanking for Victor Wimanyama. If they end up landing him, who knows where this franchise goes? They have a lot of really good young talent. But the Detroit Pistons are looking to make moves and have recently made uh, Sadiq Bey potentially available. They're at least taking calls for Sadiq Bey. 23 years old, 6'7 wing, uh, many people really like him, and many Laker fans are calling for the Lakers to go and acquire Sadiq Bey, which would be fantastic, right? He would fit so many needs, you know, a big 6'7 uh, wing that can do multiple things, 3 and D style. He's had some big scoring games, so he could be another reliable piece. He's young enough for now and your future, right, uh, and start putting these young pieces together that, you know, can be uh, be cornerstones for the franchise going forward. He could fit that mold. Uh, he's still on a, a, a cheap deal. And the Lakers could try to find ways to acquire him. They could acquire just him, right? Uh, try to go maybe take like a Kendrick Nunn, maybe uh, attach a first, something like that. My concern, though, is I think the demand for a player like him might be too high for the Lakers uh, because the, the Lakers are going to have competition when it comes to a, a guy like this. You're talking a young, 23-year-old, sizable wing-type player, uh, that's pretty much every team in the league's need, right? So the Lakers are definitely going to have competition, and it's like how far are the Lakers willing to go, and what is Detroit really looking for? So I don't want people to get their hopes up too much on a deal for a Sadiq Bey, but maybe you could work something out, right? Detroit uh, has other pieces, other uh, players. There have been many uh, rumors of a Detroit deal, Right, Boyan Bogdanovich was a huge target for the Lakers, somebody that they really wanted. They got Boyan for basically pennies, and so thought is maybe the Lakers could take a Russ and go get you know like uh, like go get a couple pieces. Boyan Bogdanovich, uh, you know uh, Alec, uh, go get Nerlens Noel, go get uh, maybe Sadiq Bay in in all of the process. Right, that would be really nice and really good kind of give you that roster rehaul, give you a lot of players that could come in. Boyan Bogdanovich might be one of the best fits and a real piece we need. Made a video earlier today talking about how I don't think the Lakers need a home run swing. I think that they really need like just like a piece or two and Boyan would fit that beautifully. But if the Lakers have an opportunity and have a deal on the table to get uh, several pieces that really make sense for now and the future and really do make the Lakers a lot better... I think the Lakers got to gotta make the move, right? If the deal's there, you take it. If you could get uh, some kind of combination of, uh, you know, these three and I guess at Eek Bay or maybe all four, uh, the concern is if you were trying to go after all of them, you'd probably have to do a three-team deal uh, to unload some of the other guys, right? Problem is, is that we have a full roster spot. Yes, you could waive Matt Ryan, but outside of Matt Ryan, our only non-guaranteed deals are winning Gabriel and uh, Austin Reeves. Both of those guys have been great for us. You're probably not waiving those guys, and both of those guys still are in need. Uh, so you, you, you're going to end up keeping them. And if you move just Russell Westbrook, then you're, you're taking in like a four-for-one swap or a three-for-one swap, and you got to figure out what to do. Maybe you can move some of these other guys in a three-team deal. Maybe a Nerlens Noel's. Uh, maybe another team would be interested in just kind of taking them on for free uh, if you could work out something like that. But like the, the big Russ deal package, right? Now, maybe Detroit is looking for something like that. You know, hey, take here, here's four or five guys, take our veterans, let's get some easy assets uh, that are, are for the future and stuff. But it just, again, it depends on what Detroit is looking for. Now, a team like, uh, you know, say the, the Pacers, right? They want, they're willing to take on Russ and unload uh, Buddy Heald and Miles Turner because one, they're moving off of Buddy Heald's contract, Two, they're getting something for Miles Turner, something that is that could not happen otherwise, right? Miles Turner could just leave and they get stuck with nothing. And that could be a real problem for the Pacers, right? You're losing a legit center in this league for absolutely nothing. So the way they look at it is let's go and make this move. Uh the Hornets deal, right? You're you're doing them a favor. There's there's incentive there. You're taking on, you know, 150 million in cap space, right? And it's a rebuilding tanking team. So it makes a lot of sense. Let's move off of these veteran guys. Let's get some of the young guys some playing time stuff like that. And yes, Detroit might be looking at it like that, but all these guys are essentially expiring deals. So none of these guys are like going to be long-term endeavors outside of Boyan Bogdanovich, but they could probably get some value for him. It's just my concern is that the incentive for Detroit isn't there 
for what the Lakers could offer. Now, if Detroit wants assets later on down the road, because they're looking at it as like, okay, we're going to tank, we're going to embrace this, let's go get the 27, 29 uh, first round picks from the Lakers. Hopefully, the idea is we'll be good by that time. And then we have those assets that may be lottery picks that we can then use to go put us over the top and go get us another championship. That could be what Detroit is looking at. And so maybe they would be willing to take on Russell Westbrook, buy him out and let Russ go elsewhere. But I think realistically, they're probably not going to want to do that. So how else can you leverage this deal? How else can you make this deal a reality? Well, one way is, again, find a three-team deal, find you know some pieces that maybe that the Detroit Pistons actually do want and actually would like, and then maybe you could work out a deal there, and and maybe you can unload some of the guys uh, on the Lakers roster to some of the, these other teams, uh, and maybe a, a salary dump or something like that, or maybe maybe you move Alec Burke and Nerlens Noel's and or you know uh, maybe a Kendrick Nunn and Patrick Beverly, maybe you move those guys and take on like a long term salary, maybe you like maybe you take in like the 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 Hornets deal, right? Maybe you help them move off of it and you can work it out to where you get maybe a boy on, maybe you get a Sadiq Bay, maybe you get a Terry Rozier and you get a Gordon Hayward. Maybe you could do something like that. Maybe we'll explore that in like a separate video because I, I don't, I'd have to look and see how could the numbers work. But I'm just trying to give you an idea of like how the Lakers can make it work in a Russell Westbrook deal. Now, ideally, you end up keeping Russ, uh, which may be more of an incentive for Detroit. Like, hey, we don't really want Russ and buy out his $47 million. Good thing is Sadiq Bey's salary is small enough. So what you could do then is you could take Patrick Beverly, Kendrick Nunn, go get Boyan Bogdanovich, and go get Sadiq Bey. And then not get Nerlens Noel, not go get Alec, and, and there you go. You got Sadiq Bey, and you got Boyan Bogdanovich, which fits the sort of smaller move that I was talking about. Remember I was saying... In the previous video, for those that saw it, if you didn't see it, link down in the description below. Go check out that video. But in that video, I was talking about, I don't think the Lakers need the, the Grand Slam home run deal yet. Now, if it's there and it's on the table and it makes sense, go do it. But if you could work out a deal where you'd have to keep a first, and that's my concern. I don't know if you'd be able to get Sadiq Bey and Boyan for not, without giving up both firsts, and I just don't think for the Lakers that makes a lot of sense, uh, but maybe if you could give up one first, maybe a pick swap in a couple seconds, maybe they would, because they got Boyan for essentially nothing. They basically just took on Boyan for free, so maybe they look at it as like, okay, like we get a first round pick, maybe it's unprotected, maybe you, we get a first round pick swap, so if the Lakers are bad in, the, in that year, then we could take that pick swap and we get a couple seconds for the future. Worst case, we got a bunch of, of assets that we can use to trade later on down the road. Maybe something like that would be incentivized. And not just that, they, they take on Patrick Beverly, who may be really good for the young players, the young team, a locker room guy, a guy that they could keep on. Or they could buy these guys out. And now instead of buying out, you know, uh, uh, or waving 47 million in salary, you're waving 18 million in salary. Uh, you're moving off a of Boyan, you're moving off a of Sadiq Bay. And for the Lakers, you're getting two, three, well, one three and D wing style, and then one like legit 20 point a game scorer that would just fit beautifully next to LeBron and Anthony Davis, right? I mean, if you could go and get Sadiq Bey and Boyan Bogdanovich, you do that 10 times out of 10 times. I just don't think the Lakers can give up both firsts. But maybe, again, if you, you, you could give up everything else but one keep one first, you still have Russell Westbrook. You could do what I was talking about in the previous video where you know see, now you can reevaluate and see. What does this team look like with Sadiq Bey and Boyan Bogdanovich? Now we got the wing depth we needed. We got, you know, two real key contributors that we needed, right? We got one guy for the future, one guy for the next couple years. Uh, so we're in a great position. See if this team is really, like, is able to make the jump, able to make the leap. You're adding a 20-point-per-game scorer that's shooting the lights out this season. That is a, that any team could see some value in that. And any team that that is, like, borderline get a guy like that all of a sudden you know you have a significant jump maybe these two guys would be enough to put the Lakers now in that contention area uh, to be good enough to compete with some of these bigger teams and if it isn't well then now you still have Russell Westbrook and you still have another first round pick to maybe go look at uh, maybe making a deal and the, uh, come the trade deadline, right? When teams are having a fire sale, you know, maybe you look at the Hornets and go, hey, you know, we'll take, 
Gordon Hayward, Kelly Oubre, Terry Rozier, uh, you know, and we'll give you whatever. Uh, maybe you can move off of Damian Jones or I don't know. I mean, it, it would give them options and these two guys would really be key factors and could be real key contributors for this Lakers team, which the Lakers need. The Lakers desperately need a guy like Boyan Bogdanovich. And I think that he would be perfect. You get a guy in Sadiq Bay. I just, my concern is that I don't know if we'll have and, and competition wise, teams are going to want these guys, right? And can we can we get can, is is our assets valuable enough to Detroit? Does Detroit look at our assets and go, you know, like I believe that the Lakers are going to be bad in the next five years? Is that something that they're really actually believe in? And it's like, well, it's like, well, if we get that pick, then you know we'll be good. You know, hopefully we land one of the, like the Thompson twins or we land, you know, uh, the the grand prizes, Victor Wimbanyama or Scoot Henderson. Maybe we get something like that. And now we're really good in the next five years and we have the Lakers pick and they're not very good. And now we just got that that other treasure uh, to just add to our chest that we could use to then maybe go get a piece we need or maybe use that to just draft a guy that we think really fits, depending on what it looks like. So it's not it's not out of the realm of possibility that Detroit might value the Lakers assets. I just don't want the La- I just don't want Laker fans to get their hopes up because I'm seeing so many people that are like the Lakers need to go get Sadiq Bay, go get Sadiq Bay, do what you got to do to get Sadiq Bay. And, and you know, I see people throwing out, you know, Boyan Bogdan, all that stuff. And it would be great. I would absolutely love that if the Lakers could figure it out. But we're going to have competition when it comes to something like this. You're talking about again, a young 23-year-old 3 and D, good size, has had some scoring outbursts. Uh, I just, I don't know if, uh, I don't know if, if our assets are valuable enough to them. You know, like he, he is a solid contributor. Not having the greatest season this season. You know, he's, he's only, he's averaging about 15 points per game, but only on 40% shooting, but he's giving you five rebounds, two assists. Um, but he is, he's, he'd be great. He'd be another valuable piece off the bench for the Lakers and a guy you have for the future, right? Like, I, I am all for that. If we could get somebody like that, you're adding a, a 15 point per game guy and you're adding a, a 20 point per game guy. Like, that's pretty good if you're the Lakers. But anyway, again, as always, is, is a discussion. So I want to hear from you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? You think the Lakers have a chance? You think that they could go get them? Uh, would you give up both first for these, for these two? Um, would you give up both first? Maybe you work out like a three team deal. Like I said, maybe you could do the Hornets deal involved. Um, again, I'd have to actually like look at the numbers and see how can you make that work? Is there even a way you can make that work? But regardless, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Uh, let me know. Good, bad, ugly, somewhere in between down in the comment section below.